Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Empire 2 here today on the channel. We're back with episode 4 of our Great Britain series. Here today, a war has broken out between Great Britain and the French. So, like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Alright, so they attacked the 13 colonies. We backed them. Spain decided not to join them. And now we're going to go after their overseas colonies. We're going to land in French Guyana. The garrison has refused. And we're going to have our first battle against the French. So, we're not going to rush Paris and destroy them, which would be the play. It's a little bit unrealistic and sensible, but it's just a flaw they have an empire that it's only a one settlement faction, France. Which is a little bit ridiculous, but so be it. So we're going to focus on fighting the French in their overseas colonies. I don't know if you can hear this hammering. My neighbor is going to town for some reason. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I think it stopped now. All right, so fighting the French here now. Try to push up and engage. Pretty solid position. Now we're trading fire. This is our first real opportunity of fighting a major European power. It's going to be interesting to see how well we do. We currently are at war with the Mughals and we've fought some rebels here and there. Okay, so holding on the left-hand side and through the center too. Okay, so we've got some nice cover there in the center using the wall to our advantage. Being able to use it as cover and line your muskets down is going to help. But this is a massive opportunity here for us to take some crucial South American territory. Get those valuable gemstones under our control. Okay, so slightly in our favor. We're just trading fire back and forth. We do have the element of surprise. But we're doing well against the French here today. Okay, but they are still managing to hold, even though we have artillery support. Should be quite even. Infantry for infantry. Now, we are still at war with the Mughals. Oh my god. Our artillery is targeting their general. Come on. We just need to try and get a good shot on him. I've just got my artillery trying to target him. Come on. Focus firepower on their general. Okay. Henry de Mazul sitting further back. Former Frenchman himself. Huguenot loyalist. Perfect man to be sent against the French. And we've won victory here today. Clear. Um, our infantry did the work, the best. No cavalry. So French Guyana has now fallen to Henry de Mazul, and we've installed our own French-speaking governor. Nicely done. Now the French are currently blockading Bristol, which is rather annoying. Most of my fleets are away. Okay, so we've managed to get the gold mine. Some spices there too. Uh, we do have a small army north in Nassau. So we're going to look to try and reroute this. So okay, public order. Seems like it's going to be fine. I'm nearly happy to give them peace for Rupert's land, to be honest. Now, it does seem like we are giving them a piece of territory for nothing, but we would take French Guyana off them technically. Alright, let's end the turn and continue. Because I'm not too... Um, yeah. Yeah. Worried about giving Rupert's land to them. I feel like we're going to lose it at some point anyway. I am a little bit worried that we're at war with the Iroquois, the Mughals, and... France. Just when you're at war with so many factions, um, they can seem to gang up on you a bit. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. We're going to move those additional reinforcements from Nassau and let's move them to Guyana. 
Okay, how well are we doing down here? The Mughals are moving some infantry around. Okay, let's replenish and repair our troops here. And we probably need to just get more troops in London too. Okay. So let's move these additional reinforcements down to French Guyana or British Guyana. I guess we eventually try and make this like Suriname or modern day Guyana. I'm not too sure. Mm. Got to keep an eye on Rupert's factory because that's a piece of territory there too. And we're going to see if the Americans actually lose any territory to them. Alright, so welcome to the top of the turn. Those reinforcements are going to now try and land. We're going to need to get four ships. And then I want to try and make a play on Dutch Guyana. Which I'm assuming that was taken over from the Dutch. Like, they should own that, shouldn't they, the United Provinces? Okay, does the French want peace? Because we're still quite in a vulnerable position. I was focusing on the Mughals. Nice, let's put that governor's uh, residence in because we're still dealing with public order issues there. Yeah, so even if we move out, we're going to have to exempt the tax. Alright, um... I guess we try and look to move north. There's a lot of territory up there. So move to this position. See how we go. Alright. Um, back down in South America. Let's rally up. So now we've got a full stack. Let's do one turn of replenishment and then we'll look to advance. I think we'll go with a magistrate building there too. It's mostly French. Okay. Marathans seem to be posturing on that southern border. Mughals are moving slightly to the west. Yeah, I don't know why f that keeps happening. Alright. Well, just keeping an eye on those three Mughal forces to the north. It's probably time to put some money into our industry as well. Still got a little bit of money left over. Alright. Everything's looking good there for now. Um, let's look to advance forward against the Mughals. Alright, back over in London. Everything seems to be okay. Alright, I think we leave French Guyana now. Okay, so I will need to leave some forces there. So maybe I do leave Henry. To basically govern. And then we send everyone else. An opportunity to intercept during the intern phase. Let's take that out as we look to push north. Don't need to play that one manually. Gave us a clean cut order resolve. The United Provinces has been destroyed. Huh? Wow, how has that happened? Ah, the Spanish have taken the Netherlands. I feel like the French had Brussels too at one point. Interesting. Because they've just sniped them. It's made their overseas colonies rebel. So does that mean Cylon's up for the taking? It is. Oh, jeez. That's a massive opportunity for us. Um, I might actually abandon India then. So hang on. We were going to go north against the Mughals there. But it actually might be in our interest to move to Cylon and take modern day Sri Lanka. Although we've put a little bit of investment here. We're better off going to Cylon. Because we're going to be able to get European forces quickly. Um, I think there's even a, a mine on there too. If we can get modern day Sri Lanka fully under our control, that would be massive. So hang on. I'm just going to quickly use this to our advantage. Thank you, the Spanish. And let's land. It's nearly not a bad idea to declare war upon the Dutch. Because then you can go after their... Um, overseas territories because they've got like really good strategic ones so yeah look so there's the Sri Lankan flag so Cylon is free and independent and we'll look to go and take them okay still at war with the French let's push over and besiege Dutch Guyana 
And we'll look to take Cylon at the top of the next turn, which should be massive. Even if we do lose that hard-fought piece of Mughal territory, taking Cylon is a massive strategic position. The island fortress offside India. We're going to be able to project so much power into there. Some new traits and ancillaries. Right, let's besiege Cylon. Let's demand their surrender. They're going to refuse. We don't need to manually play this one. We can auto-resolve it quite easily. Only losing 300 with John Churchill. A new trait has been gained. And Cylon is officially under British occupation. And look at this. The amount of investment here too is massive. And I'm sure the Dutch locals would be more than happy to see British rule in. Okay, so there's still a fair few different cultural sects. And it's like really, really happy that um, European rule is uh, back down there. Alright, well, unfortunately on that note, it's time to wrap things up here. Thank you very much for watching. Interesting episode. Stay tuned for episode 5 coming out tomorrow. Where we'll try and go back and take that Mughal territory. I'll try and hold it. Um, they could very well attack us though. And we could lose our only piece of territory on the Indian subcontinent. Maybe. We'll see. Um, we've taken Sri Lanka, which is massive. The United Provinces losing is quite um, a big deal. Um, it seems like the French are waning while the Spanish are going against them. We're going to continue to try and fight the French in their overseas territory, but we might try and sue for peace at some point. I, I don't want to be at war with the Mughals and the French at the same time, so we'll just have to see how that goes, I guess. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Let me know feedback and suggestions in the comments. My name is Ben Simpsey. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.